Well, the current system uh, is already in a state of crisis, and these new rules by the de Blasio administration are going to take it from a crisis to an Armageddon. As it stands today, there's somewhere between 400 to 600,000 people across 170,000 NYCHA controlled units. Um, this new system under de Blasio will flood that already overpopulated, underperforming system with 700,000 plus illegals. The city itself has estimated it would cost an upwards of 30 billion just to repair these substandard units, take them from basically dilapidated third world conditions to something equivalent to what you'll find on the market. This system basically prices out, pushes out native New Yorkers, American citizens from competing to get these very much needed units. It was announced that over the last year, 3,000 criminal aliens, these are illegal aliens with criminal records, were released even though they had ICE detainers. Is the city moving backwards as far as enforcement policy because they have this very progressive immigration policy attached to it? Oh, absolutely. I mean, the rule of law is completely being thrown aside with this democratic-run uh, city. Uh, you know, there's one thing to say that, you know, a totally uh, law-abiding, you know, otherwise besides immigration, uh, but law-abiding illegal uh, could, you know, live and work in the city. Now they're crossing lines and allowing criminal aliens, people who have committed felonies, misdemeanors, you know, serious crimes, uh, basically back onto the streets. And we're already having a crime issue in this city, uh, you know, with the police unions, you know, standing up against de Blasio. I mean, this doesn't help the situation at all with rising crime, record homelessness. Uh, the city's falling apart, and he's just doing everything he can to speed up that, that downfall. So do Republicans pass this woke progressivism that has enveloped the entire Democratic Party in this state? How do they break through to make a difference when during election time? Well, Look, I mean, we got to think outside the box. I mean, with things like NYCHA, I mean, we need to open it up to private development. There's there's tons of interesting plans out there, like things like restreeting, which would expand uh, the the grids and the neighborhood roads into these isolated housing projects and opening it up to storefronts, to smaller residential properties, and br bring some life into these very, uh, you know, th these these crime-ridden, uh, isolated uh, projects. Things like that would be a great urban Republican agenda to push forward instead of just adopting progressive minds attitudes towards whether it's immigration or crime.